You may have heard that water and electricity don't mix, but United Utilities is disproving that theory at Godley Reservoir, where one of Europe's biggest floating solar arrays is powering the nearby water treatment works. This system is used to offset power consumed by the site, what we normally get from National Grid. So we're trying to be as self-sufficient where we can in the most sustainable manner. The array provides the equivalent of three megawatts of power. Largely, it's the equivalent of 500 average UK three-bedroom properties. Construction took six months and wasn't without its challenges. It was learning how to build a system of this type. At the time, it was the first commercial scale UK floating solar and actually the first in Europe as well. So industry knowledge wasn't quite there and we got a lot of learning from this which can help inform the market in the future. Despite changes to government subsidy arrangements, United Utilities believes solar can remain an important part of its energy strategy in the coming years. They have to be the right size and the right location. So the loose equation is, have we got a large site demand? Have we got available space? And can we get the right connection with the local distribution company as well for that power? So is there more floating in the planning? Absolutely so. We're looking at one in Lancaster, which is about a third of the one you can see over my shoulder, and another one in Castle Carrick, which is probably about a quarter this size. And with such an optimistic forecast, it seems United Utilities will continue to make energy while the sun shines.